All right, Coach, you can uh, go ahead and make your uh, statement, and then I will open up uh, for questions later. Yeah, really, uh, really good win coming off uh, coming off a tough loss. Um, great way to bounce back. Good team we just played. Uh, we had to play well to win, and um, we obviously had a great second half, um, certainly offensively and on the glass, and um, obviously great to get this win. We needed it. And uh, really proud of the effort. Rob, just uh, I, was, I was watching Danny early, and I, I, did, I thought it might be one of those nights where he, you know, he, he kind of looked a little bit lethargic. I thought at first, maybe that was just me, but uh, he hit a bucket, and then uh, after that, it did, he got kind of serious at that point. <laughs> yeah, he played great. He made a lot of a lot of jumpers to start, and then late in the second half, he scored on top of the basket and got fouled. Um, you know, I think he, he, the first possession, he tried to drive it and it got taken from him. Um, and then he, he just started shooting jumpers over these guys that are a little bit smaller than him. Uh, good team that we played. And uh, Daquan Plowden's a good player. He played well, too. But Danny, Danny played really, really well tonight, um, along with a number of guys that, uh, that made some big plays. I think uh, Nunu Travell's three in the corner uh, was a huge, huge basket for us. Uh, we moved the ball well, had 16 assists. You know, we had seven steals against a team that really doesn't uh, – they don't turn the ball over much. So, to get seven steals against them was good. And um, just a big win for us because, you know, these teams are all good. Bowling Green's good. I think our strength of schedule in the conference, I think right now, is the number one, you know, strength of schedule. So, be able to win is, is I thought they played you know they were kind of in desperation mode a little yeah. bit they weren't going away obviously yeah I mean look they scored 90 points you know they, they and they're one of the better defensive teams in the league and we had been and we're struggling a little bit defensively but uh we created in the second half we created enough turnovers uh second chance points and we scored on top of the basket which in the first half we had zero second chance points at halftime uh, and we only had three offensive rebounds at halftime so uh, it's good to see us do that in the second half, for sure. Uh, Coach, you talked about other guys who uh, kind of stepped up tonight. And Gio, obviously, has been a huge part of the team all year. You know, he's always uh, doing some – you know, he's always getting steals, always getting a lot of assists, and yeah. he's always leading the offense well. Uh, 14 from him, kind of a huge step up in his offensive production. What did you see from him tonight? Yeah, I mean, he's one of the leading three-point shooters in the league. And uh, – you know, he missed some of the same looks against uh, Toledo, but he's been working really hard as he has all year long, uh, you know, runs the team and he's made some timely baskets uh, all season long. Uh, I thought he did a great job again tonight. Like you said, he had 14 points. I think that's his season high. Um, even if it's, if it's not, if it's one of his season high, like he made some big, big shots for us. Um, and, and we certainly need him to continue to play well. Uh, Mike Nuga has been, you know, consistent all year, nine rebounds, defensive rebounds, nine of them tonight, you know, just a number of guys, you know, that, that played really, really well for us. Um, and we made enough plays Malik, you know, defensively, I know Turner, you know, he got his points, but uh, I think a lot of those were late and I thought we did a really good job on him for the most part as well. And Justin Turner is one of the best players in the league. So, um, you know, total team effort for us. About the first half a little bit, um, kind of a back and forth. And then uh, Fulcher, uh, their freshman, yeah. really went off on you. Yeah, he got a couple offensive rebounds. Um, good player. And, um, you know, we let their bench in the first half, I thought, and, and, and for the game, but in the first half in particular, they did not miss a shot, their bench in the first half. So in the second half, they missed one, five, eight. So they missed eight shots in the second half. In the first half, their bench did not miss a shot. I don't know exactly what it was, but they they were, you know, whatever for whatever, eight for eight, nine for nine. So in the second half, you know, while Josiah Fulcher had a great game, we at least were able to make him miss some shots. Um, same with Cam Young and on them, uh, you know, them being up at nine. Uh, obviously a great performance shooting from the outside uh, this season, your hallmark for your team. Um, you know, there's a lot of upside, but 
uh, one of the main things you've been thriving off of is points in the paint and rebounding dominance. Still out rebounded them 37, 35, uh, but you were pretty uh, dramatically outscored in the paint. What were the matchups inside? What was going on there that they were able to score more? Yeah, most of that, most of that was in the first half. I think at halftime, they had 16 more points in the paint than us. And I think in the second half, we sort of even that out. But but we did get to the foul line. You know, we took 21 free throws to their 15. I, I thought we got fouled on a number of those offensive rebounds that don't count as offensive rebounds because you're fouled and you get to the foul line. So they're not counted as points in the paint. Um, but I thought our physicality in the second half was much better than it was in the first half. And I thought we had some big, you know, offensive rebounds in the second half with eight of them. Um, and we shot 50% in the, in the half. So we missed 17 shots in the second half. We got eight of the 17 back. So, uh, that's much more in line with what we need to do to be successful. And then obviously when you shoot it well from three, which we did tonight, uh, you know, you're able to score a lot of points. We scored 96 points. So, uh, we still have to improve, you know, defensively, we still have to improve on that area for sure. But, uh, our execution uh, you know, I thought our toughness, I thought a lot of things we, we, we really showed, uh, showed up today. And I think that had a big deal with why we were able to win. Do you think that this level of uh, three-point offense is I, I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. Do you think that this level of production from beyond the arc is sustainable? You know, you think this well, team is – Yeah. I, you know, we're a pretty good three-point shooting team. I don't know that we'll make 13 of 28, you know, every mm -hmm. night, but – um, we have a number of guys that are good three point shooters. So, you know, I would expect us to continue to make threes. Mike Nuga, who's, you know, our best three point shooter. He was only one for five tonight. There's some nights that he's going to go four for five because he's, he's one of the best shooters in the conference. So, um, but he was able to drive the ball and score on top of the basket and, uh, and did some, a lot of other things that helped us win. You know, he had two steals and, and like I said, nine rebounds. So, uh, to me, it's a total team and, and there's going to be nights that we shoot it well and, you know, and then we're able to score like we did. And I'm sure there's going to be some nights that we miss shots and we just got to figure out different ways to, to, to win games. So, um, you know, each game's a little bit different depending upon, you know, who you're playing. You mentioned Turvell at a big corner three. You also had a big offensive rebound and a couple mm -hmm. of free throws that yeah. gave you a little bit of cushion. Uh, just talk about him a little bit. He's kind of just kind of a quiet guy out there, but uh, yeah. He's having a, a huge impact on our team. Um, and, and, you know, he's got a really difficult job because sometimes we ask him to guard wings and sometimes we ask him to guard forwards. And sometimes we ask him to switch ball screens and sometimes we ask him to plug ball screens or, you know, like show hedge and back. And sometimes we ask him to play out on the perimeter and remember the plays from the perimeter. And sometimes we ask him to remember the plays from the post. So um, he's got probably – of all the guys on the roster, he's probably got the most, when I say responsibility, like the toughest job in terms of being able to do all of those different things. You know, we switched and, and, and he, he had some mistakes there. There was one time where he fouled Turner on a switch where he should have done a, you know, he shouldn't have fouled. He should have showed his hand, but we're asking him to do a lot and he's having a great, he's having a huge impact on our team. I think, um, you know, along with a lot of guys, but he's he's been really, really good. And uh, he's making some big plays to, to help us win games. And the, the thing I know about him, he, he really wants to win. Um, it's really important to him. And, um, you know, he's he's a guy in the locker room that if you were to ask anybody on the team who, you know, the most positive guy and, and, and there's a lot of them that are like that. But but Nunu is the guy that, you know, I think he connects a lot of different guys on the roster uh, Danny scored his thousandth career point tonight just kind of hit that yeah that's awesome for him I'm proud of him for that and again obviously he had a huge game tonight um you know he had a huge game uh but but that, that's something that you know for him being able to stay here for four years and through all the stuff he's been through uh happy for him and and his and his family and his family who's a big part of his life uh, especially his mom. So I'm really happy for them that he was able to do that tonight and do it in a win because I know winning is important to him as well. Uh, and to be able to achieve that on a, on a game that we won, I know is important for him.
he'll remember that for a long time. Why didn't he start? You know what? Both him and uh, and Malik, you know, Malik doesn't – he hasn't started, but I put both of them just down one spot because of our last game, just thinking we needed to – to get back to, to I uploaded play. And, uh, and I thought both of those guys responded very, very well. I went to really the NCAA to manager tonight. site. Uh, yes, we're good. Any, Any more questions? questions? I'm all right. All right, I think we're good, folks. Okay, great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Is everybody, I guess.